Taliban founder Mullah Omar lived within walking distance of U.S. bases in Afghanistan for years, according to a new biography that suggests embarrassing failures of American intelligence. Here's a summary of the article. Taliban founder Mullah Omar lived within walking distance of U.S. bases in Afghanistan for years, according to a new book that suggests embarrassing failures of American intelligence. U.S. and Afghan leaders believed the one-eyed, fugitive leader fled to and eventually died in Pakistan, but a new biography says Omar was living just three miles from a major U.S. forward operating base in Zabul province, where he died in 2013, searching for an enemy, by Dutch journalist Bet Dam, says the Taliban chief lived as a virtual hermit, refusing visits from his family and filling notebooks with jottings in an imaginary language. Following the 9-11 attacks in 2001 which led to the fall of the Taliban, the U.S. put a $10 million bounty on Omar and he went into hiding in a small compound in the regional capital Karlat, Dam writes. At one point, a U.S. patrol approached as Omar and Omari were in the courtyard. Omar decided to move when the U.S. started building forward operating base Lagman in 2004, just a few hundred meters from his hideout. Dam's book says Omar delegated effective Taliban leadership after 2001 and appears to have acted as more of a spiritual leader after that. The latest account of Omar's life comes as the Taliban and U.S. are holding ongoing peace talks aimed at bringing an end to the nearly 18-year conflict. This post received a score of 7,214, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Unless they actually have him in the flesh, I'm not going to believe anything I hear about the whereabouts of Mullah Omar. He's like the Mandarin in Iron Man 3. Excuse me while I readjust my tinfoil hat. Plus, I would hardly consider this an embarrassing failure of American intelligence and more so evidence that gathering intel is hard work. It's not so much that intel agencies don't notice something, the difficult part is to separate that from the noise and rumors. If you look at something like Pearl Harbor or even 9-11, of course there were reports and intercepted messages that gave us reason to suspect but it's really hard in context to decide that this is actionable vs the 100 other rumors the intel agencies get. Until it happens, most of the time that intel just looks as good as intel that says otherwise. Who could predict Japan would be audacious enough to sneak a naval task force into attack range while the US and Japan were still trying to negotiate? Intel that says the fucking founder of the Taliban is within sniper distance looks so outrageous when compared to Intel that says he's in a cave in Pakistan. In a cave in Pakistan, bouncing between compounds in a 20 km radius, traveling to another country on the D.L., or straight up dead from a strike, bombing, or skirmish with local forces. None of those are a confirmation from me because I never worked those mission sets and I'm new in the military IC. But rather it's something we call R-U-M-I-N-T, rumor intelligence, and it's stuff that is tracked and looked at, but sometimes we need to go off of other leads first. Intel is hard and super fucking stressful at that. Plus, when you have limited resources to convert R-U-M-I-N-T into H-U-M-I-N-T or S-I-G-N-I-N-T, are you going to bother to spend one on, there's this guy right down the street from a U.S. base who looks just like Mullah Omar. If Omar did live that close to a U.S. base then he did a very good job of laying low while he was there, because if enough R-U-M-I-N-T pointing at the same place surfaces resources will eventually be tasked. U-H-M. You don't convert rumors into intelligence. You separate all single sources from each other so you don't create bias, then you assess everything at all source level. Contaminating intel or doing circle reporting is a no-go. That's why all HUMINT sources are graded from AF and 1 to 6, and it's up to the 2X cell to grade the sources. An E-graded source feeding you BS information is still valid information. That's why you don't assess based on single sources, but gather everything at all source level. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.